So I'm going to say this is his fault because it's okay, def- it's definitely my fault. Mm-hmm. He went to not- Texas. I, d- I went to Texas. That's oh, that's yeah, how it's yeah. my fault. That's usually where it starts when you <laughs> go to Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he worked for a promotion called Pele Pro. Which I'm familiar with. We ran their ads on the Warrior shows. Yes. And they're yes. like these great like 8-bit graphics of your intros kind of thing. Correct. And so I saw cool. and I saw your name pop up. And yes. I'm like, oh, that I got to ask him about this. And mm-hmm. then it turns out. So they have great <laughs> talent. They have a mm-hmm. great champion. Mm-hmm. And Pele said, hey, would you guys be interested in helping us run a show in Pittsburgh? Mm-hmm. So it started off as us helping out a Texas promotion get up here in Pittsburgh. And we said, sure. You know, we just, we were like, yeah, why not? You know, we'll get some of our friends, some good local talent that Mm -hmm. otherwise might not be showcased in Texas, Mm -hmm. give them a platform and cross promote. It's always, it's always about cross promoting and getting your friends over and And make everything bigger. Yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we're full blown running a show in Pittsburgh. (laughs) There we go. (laughs) We, we don't do anything. RIP our DMS after this. Yeah. And it's always funny because I'll see a, I'll see a new pro- I don't know how many new promotions I've seen pop up on Instagram and I did I see I did see the Wrestle Pit pop up and I'm just like oh, who are no. these guys? Well, yeah, you're you're like who are these guys? <laughs> who who got who got their 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 refund check and started a promotion? <laughs> you know, and I didn't realize it was you guys that got the refund check. <laughs> get one of those okay? yeah. oh yeah i'm from i don't i don't i haven't seen one in like 15 years so yeah uh but anyways no uh, so it's it's a cross promotion right now yes this mm-hmm. show is pele pro and wrestle pit mm-hmm. basically what we did is we gave gave ourselves a name you know it's still very much a pele pro show their champion's going to be up here and a couple of their top talents are going to be here as well but with everything that we were doing we wanted to cover all the bases and become a legal entity. So mm-hmm. put everything on paper. That way, in case anything happens, you know, we're, we're covered in that regard. And I will say that anything I've dealt with you guys, like you have always been very business minded. Yes. Too. So I, sure. and that's what I Thank appreciate. You. So I, I will say that as a personally working with these guys, uh, for anybody looking at looking forward to this show, like the, the stuff they're going to, you know, cross the T's and dot the I's on a lot of stuff. That, uh, sure. other, you other could promo- say they're pretty proper. Oh. <laughs> we are with, but, that, with that I'm done <laughs> I'm done I'm gone <laughs> we do always come in business minded I mean we used to what dress to the nines everywhere we everywhere. went everywhere, everywhere. And people it was suits and ties at they, us like oh my we god they hated us jackasses <laughs> right <laughs> And I get it now being in the business for so long, but at the same time, I wouldn't change it because one, it was the gimmick. Mm -hmm. Two, it was just, it was built in like where we were trained. It was you dress for the job that you want. Mm -hmm. And we were still kind of in that mindset that we would rather be dressed up and Mm -hmm. overdressed than underdressed. But um, we've always been business minded. But at the same time, we've always wanted like our friends to succeed. So doing this was, it made sense as Pittsburgh talent could get seen on the Texas scene, right? Mm -hmm, If we could mm -hmm. kind of open that bridge. And blended two worlds. I mean, it's literally the complete opposite end of the country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, all the way down there at the bottom there. And for people to have an opportunity. And different talent to work. Right. So some thank you. Yes. Instead of the same five or six people just cycling through the same Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh community. Few promotions, you know, through like the tri state area. You know, finally, I, we're going to get different matchups. And I promise you there's a couple Pittsburgh guys that you're really going to see something out of them because they get different talent to work with. And mm-hmm. they're really like top guys on the indies. And it's going to showcase some of the Pittsburgh talent that we really do have here. And I'm pumped to get those match- matchups that are, you know, you're not going to get anywhere else. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right. And not, I mean, we're not. And this isn't just the regional promotion that we're setting up either. You know, like, obviously, you know, we're partnered up with Pele from Texas, but we're bringing guys from all over the United States. Yeah. Uh, If we end up doing, you know, more shows in the future or however this shakes out, you know, it's going to be the same way. Like, we're going to bring guys in from Canada, bring guys in from California, from Florida. We don't want it to be just a small-minded audience. Yeah. We want more. We have some good guys, and I think... You know, for us, it's just important for people to be seen in a different light, to showcase their talents that they might not get to do here in Pittsburgh alone. 
and and opponents that they might not have had an opportunity right to ever work networking mm-hmm. is so important like you have to leave pittsburgh mm-hmm. and like sorry i know we like ruffled a lot of feathers when we left pittsburgh initially but <laughs> you have to get out of your town you have mm-hmm. to absolutely and it's fine Pop to come bubble. back Just... it's fine to come back we love pittsburgh we love our trainers our people everything but you have to expand and we want to help people do that. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. important. And you, you want to help much. open the door a little bit. Oh, yeah, there. absolutely. There's so. enough room for everyone. We all can eat. There's enough food. There's enough money. Oh, and my. Yes. I know. Please. It's not a competition. There's so much good talent here that needs to be seen. That's it. Like, it's mm-hmm. it's not a, a battle for, you know. And you start seeing that. I mean, you know, we, we, uh, you know the Pittsburgh is, is such... Uh, you know, a hotbed of talent, you know, and I know we've kind of said that for a while, but, and I said, I said this somewhere on Twitter or something the last couple of days, like, I, you know, when I travel, I go to wrestling shows yes. in whatever town I'm in. I've been, I've been in, I've been in the Nashville area, Florida, California, everywhere in between Detroit, and nobody has like the amount of talent and good wrestling shows as the Pittsburgh area. I think I said something that it was response to Norm Connors, I remember now. It was like, there are like at least five viable companies here. And mm-hmm. you guys coming in doesn't hurt anything because I watched two companies run the same night and, and both run, right. you know, three, four, whatever their regular amount of people is. You right. know, it's just everybody's, it's a sli- It's just like what's happening on TV right now. Different markets. Absolutely. And it's okay to cater to different people, mm-hmm. right? As, as long as you have an audience that wants to pay to come see what you have to offer then there's money to be had and there's talent that needs to be seen. Yeah. And I don't, and I don't think any other show in the area looks like what we're seeing here. I threw some of the graphics up while you were talking about it for everybody on video, but you know, some Thank of the, you. you know, some of the names coming up, like, you know, just right here on the front of the poster, you know, you, you got, you got Shane Taylor promotions, the six, uh, six man tag champions at ring of honor, mm-hmm. Dan Housen. I know Dan Housen recently had an injury, so I'm hoping there's, there's some good news coming on that. I mean, you know, this is a good very evil, few weeks very away. Injured. <laughs> <laughs> Already a t-shirt for it. Buy of course. Yeah, of course. So good. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, beast man, uh, uh, Chandler Hopkins. I've been seeing great stuff with him up He's in so uh, a warrior. Uh, so, so very good. impressive. Yeah. Uh, Ray Lynn, of course, you know, and then like I said, what we said, cam cool. He's the Pele, the champ. Pele champ. Yeah. Okay. Very, we, very talented. We definitely have other announcements. I know you uh, showed Casey Navarro. He also signed with yes. MLW. He's yes. on the show. And we have a few extra announcements coming out mm-hmm. that aren't on the poster. I'm and just going to say with, with the Ring of Honor thing you know, going down the hill, we've been in talks <laughs> oh, with people. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, sure boy. have. Oh, I see. So maybe We're a little bit of a, a, a pit of honor of sorts. Ooh, uh, I like that. We just had a pit. Honor pit? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, honor there pit. you go. There honor you go. So. <laughs> We're planning on uh, maybe. I mean, we're so back and forth. But January or February, I think we're going to try to plan a second date. Round two. <laughs> yeah, round two. Part That's two. Good. That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chachi. Of course, Chachi is uh, uh, actually Chachi's going to be the director. I'm busy this night, unfortunately. Chachi, uh, you better be there. You're so excited in this chat. No, is no, no, he no. Coming? He's going to no. be the me oh, on right. the show. Oh, That's yeah. right. he, He's the one directing the show. Perfect. <laughs> Can't so, wait. but he's been doing a great job with with Rise Wrestling and everything. Yes. So, you're in good hands there as far as that goes. Uh, and we got a great streamer that's going to be helping him out too. So, because he hasn't, he, well, he's not actually. He did one of those and he did very well with it. So, um, so so we have an experienced crew going. Uh, unfortunately, I'm stuck. I, I'm already booked. Unfortunately, uh, in the Poconos for uh, Maverick MMA, which is actually ironic since with you, Shane, uh, 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 Victor. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Savage gentleman. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the hey, brother. I knew I was going to slip once tonight. Um, That's the old gimmick. But... <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, so no, so so a really cool thing. And it is streaming. Like I said, what, Fight TV and Title, title match? match? I'm not familiar as much with Title Match. They are amazing. She's worked with them a lot, especially being down at Hurricane and Mission Pro, right? Mm. Uh they're running at Wrestlecade as well. Mm-hmm. So they do a lot of um, women's shows and Hurricane, yes, in Texas, where I'm the champion. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Um, But yeah, title match is awesome. So Fight TV title match. We'll drop those links here soon. There you go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're on the front page when I go to title match, it seems. <laughs> Look yeah. at that. That's the recent match. With oh, Chelsea oh Green. this was the hot mess, cold mess the match yes. that I saw. Debut. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fantastic. Did you see this, Matt? <laughs> or Mike? 
No, I didn't. I haven't even seen this match. <laughs> Hot mess, cold mess. I love yes, it. Yes, yes. I saw I some great it. pictures from this on the social media. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's fantastic. Hey, I also got to ask about um, you were in, and I know, I know, Missy talked to Katie Arquette about this. Was I think the same promotion, right? Uh, there is a cage. Oh. MMA style combat fights unlimited. Tell me more. CFU. Oh. Tell me more. He literally was like, "Tell me more." <laughs> yes, because <laughs> I see these pictures. I, I know, I know, I know, uh, Benjamin. You were you were seconding her, right? Yes. With, with the yes. you know, with your obviously your of your course. cage experience. Right? She listened. Yeah. <laughs> extremely well. I did actually. Um, I needed all the she help I could get. Punched in the face. I'm not going to say who. And by the well, way, by the way, your cage combat sport experience is. I am. Am I two and zero? Oh? Or zero oh and one? No. One and one. No, I mean your experience going into oh. this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking my time on the shows. Uh, no, I had no prior training until meeting my husband mm -hmm. and now he's been teaching classes and teaching me privately okay you know all right all right <laughs> getting her up to par We're definitely trying to the get her into blood game. sport now i know i would love to but my striking game has grown immensely mm. i think with dance and gymnastics just body control kicks all of that came natural but mm -hmm. i mean like the killer instincts with the strikes was not there he's like oh yeah lay that shit in <laughs> turn your hips so uh i did train a little bit but so these shows are a work shoot, but they're still very shoot, mm -hmm. to be honest. Like you don't, you can't call things when you're fighting, what, right? What you're like not going to yeah. see is choreographed yeah, it, moments. It's not know, a like, fight scene, like a choreographed movie fight scene, because mm -hmm. that would be really cool, but that's not what this and is. And there's no, um, <laughs> no top rope anything. There's yeah, no, there's no ropes, yeah. no back and forth, no right. called spots. Mm -hmm. You get time, the cage door closes, and my first time in there, I was like, oh, shit, like I'm in a cage. <laughs> like I locked in a cage. And I was yep. like, whew, we are throwing hands. Like we are actually throwing hands. Mm -hmm. So, um, Nothing There's... like being locked in a cage with another human to really right. let you know. <laughs> yeah, who's, listen, who's the survival of listen, fitness right there? I had a camera and I was locked in a cage with a couple of people, and I wasn't okay right. with it. <laughs> right, I, I get nervous about a, like a backyard with three sides of a fence, so I don't even know <laughs> who's locked in a cage. I know I'm I'm a little claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. first time I was in there, I was like, oh wow, this is different. This is really different. Mm -hmm. But. I actually, I really did listen to him. Like I had to because I didn't have that experience. I've never fought in a cage. So it was um, definitely a different sort of adrenaline and a fight or flight kind of feel. But the promotion is doing well. It's all women's right now. Mm -hmm. And I think it's gaining some ground because the interest in real fighting is growing. It's, um, it's appealing. MMA is huge right now. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the legitimacy is is a big deal. Mm -hmm. And it is when you're and locked in there with someone that's like a legitimate fighter. So it it feels different. It is different. It reads different. And I think we have a different audience and it's it's growing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, and it, I have to I truly believe it's because of Josh Barnett. Yeah. You for know, sure. mm -hmm. obviously his pedigree speaks Bring for that itself, crossover. Yeah. But he created he a it. brand mm -hmm. and that was one of my bucket lists. You know, to be on that show, and I got to be at one of the biggest shows, you know, for Bloodsport. But nothing can top nothing, Bloodsport. No, like he has the top talent. Like just the shows he had, what two weeks ago in mm -hmm. LA. Mm -hmm. Everyone Insane. stacked head yeah. to toe. Every card is always stacked, and of course, there are always going to be people that want to do something similar. But right, and flattery is. Or I mean, impersonation is. The sincerest form yeah, of flattery, yeah. and I think he had such a great idea that people but now are now there's following. a market for it. Right, there's mm -hmm. a market for it. People are interested in it, and it showcases women in the industry mm -hmm. because it's just women right now in CFU, and mm -hmm. it it makes us feel and seem like more than just the diva eras. Dare I say it? Right, like you you definitely have um, a different roster of, mm -hmm. of females mm -hmm. you, you got legitimate fighters and i definitely want to be a part of that like do i want to look good and and be pretty sure but i'd rather be a fighter than than be a diva and it's I only think, one aspect right of, of wrestling you're right, right. Yeah. i mean and there's so many there's 
anyone can be whatever they want. I mm -hmm. think that's ve like very important. I do not look at anyone like you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do this. Like you should want to be whatever you want to be. But for me, I'd rather be looked at as a legitimate sort of fighter. And granted, I only have a few years of training and I, I haven't taken a legit MMA fight. I think the crossover with CFU right now has been a welcome transition. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I and mean, that's been you know, we've talked about it. You know, I'm getting very involved in the MMA world and production side. And every time I go to these shows, I, I look around at some of them, whether it be the size, the atmosphere, uh, the grandioseness and then the ticket prices, uh, <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, know, I, and I asked myself, like, I, I legit, you know, first time I went to a boxing event as a camera op uh, in Monroeville and it was like a giant thing. I'm just like, why can't wrestling be this at this yeah. level? Because this is right. this is the indie promotion for MMA at this level, right? Correct. That we're working with. But it's not on the level of the wrestling even the big promotions that we work with it's not on that level correct it's it's, it's crazy it's crazy what I, I worked with impact wrestling once and it wasn't on that level you know uh it's crazy it was years ago of course um but uh well, that's you know. one of the things we were obviously because of my experience yeah but yeah one thing we wanted to really make wrestle pit feel like mm -hmm. was that illustrious you know like you want Experience. more yeah. from mm -hmm. it. You know, we have VIP table seats mm -hmm. and that comes from my MMA days of, you know, me pushing tickets and knowing what the venue setups were like. And people want to feel important. You yeah, have a, it feels a ringside more important. table and you are a VIP. You're an important person. You get drinks, you get posters, you get autographs and you are that person that, that pays their way for that table. For and that night. Like yeah. mm -hmm. I want you to be there. I want you to feel like you're in on invested, the action. Right. And you're special. And that's very important. I think having those tiers of seating that mixed martial art does, we want to bring to professional wrestling. You mm -hmm. get VIP tables, front row, general, and it has to feel like a big deal. It mm -hmm. has to feel special. Mm -hmm. It's not a new concept. No. It's, it's <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but it is to indie yeah. wrestling. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> No, I see it. I see it. No, really looking forward to this. Uh, again, uh, it, uh, uh, where can people check out uh, Wrestle Pit and information on the show right now? All Wrestle Pit. That's yeah. it. At, at Wrestle, Wrestle Pit. Pit Twitter, uh, Twitter, Instagram, yeah. and Facebook. Correct. There you and go. And Wrestle Pit LLC at gmail.com is the email. There you go. There you go. Hit them up with business inquiries. Mm -hmm. um, and if you want a shirt, you better be there because it's. That's it's where they're dropping. There. We're dropping That's it. Where, we, we tied oh, that all back in. We got there. there so if is. you're going to come November 20th to Wrestle Pit, you can get one right of these there. new fancy The new shirt Savage with Chinoble the Butterfinger shirts. Championship. <laughs> there it is. All right. <laughs> five minutes from downtown Pittsburgh. So yes. it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very local to the other a lot of areas. And that's another thing is – even the companies inside of Pittsburgh, nobody's really running in Pittsburgh. In the no. city. Yeah. So no, no, no. that's what we wanted. You know, we want it to be different. City Absolutely. Lab. Absolutely. We took, like you said, we're very professional whenever we do things. We took every aspect into consideration before venturing into this. We've got to make mm. everyone happy. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Looking forward. Check out Wrestle Pit.